Welcome to another episode. Now, here we have a Apple Airport Extreme router. And if you just have a listen. It's detected a fault and the fault, as you can hear, it's a moving part. Now the only moving part in an extreme is the fan. So it looks like the fan has had it, so let's replace it. In a previous video, the link is below. I showed you how to do a deep clean on an Apple Airport extreme. So what you do is make sure it's unplugged, turn the right around and with a metal spatula just put it in gently not too far down and then just pop that up and holding that get another one And just help it up and work your way around. And it should just pop. There you have your insides. Right, T8s, remove the four of those. And before you remove the plate here, just undo the little tabs and you can remove the power supply. Just pull it up and out of the way. And then you'll see the little connectors in here with a plastic spatula. Just go in behind them and just gently prise them out. That's one, two, Three, and then you have a bigger connector here. Just gently ease that up. And pull it off to one side then you can remove the center plate again with the metal spatula just prise it up and then you'll notice down inside at the bottom the two screws holding in the whole unit so just undo those now lucky enough all of them are T8s. And then just pull the whole unit out, press it together and lift. And there's the offending article. Now, just looking at that there, look. It's all over the place. It's totally had it. That shouldn't do that that should spin freely and quietly now holding it on is again three screws and the t8s just follow the little cable from the fan it brings you up to a top and it's what it just so happens it's one of the cables that is connected at the top just peel back the little rubber here 
and again using their T8s. Now the screws are different size than the others, so just keep them to one side. And then just lift the fan out of it. And you can see it's all over the place. Now here we have the replacement fan. And you can see it's not all over the place. Now with the replacement fan, it had no little rubber grommets, as you can you can see on these. So we'll take them out, put it onto the replacement, and then we'll fit it. Yeah, little grommets are in place. They also helped as a to soften the vibration coming from the fan into the unit. It's like a some kind of a dampener. Yeah, just put the screws into place. Just line it up. Put a little cable underneath and screw it down. And there's no need to tighten it down, just pinch it. Shock absorbers is probably another word for these little grommets. Yeah, just again pinch it and maybe just a little more. Let's feed that back up again. Comes back over the top and we're ready to reassemble and test. Don't forget when you're putting this plate back on, make sure it's actually sitting inside the chassis of the unit because if it doesn't it just won't fit very right and you won't be able to close it down very well now the fiddly bit is to get all these little connectors back on but you can't really make a mistake because the smallest one here is a two followed by there's a four there and there's a three there and then you have your big plug I generally start off with the smallest one here and using fingers and possibly a spatula and I just line it up and then it just presses directly down onto the connector. That's for the two, three and four. With this one here you slide it in and it pushes down. Again they can only go one way and it might take a little bit of uh, fiddling about but you should get it and if you don't when you go to power it up you're not it's not going to work so we'll go ahead and do that and then put the base back on and test it it's back together again and when you're putting the lid back on or the base just look at the writing there and match it up with the power supply yeah let's power it up and I'll connect in Ethernet cable 
you possibly. Switch it on. And while we're waiting, I'm just going to, just going to pull this apart. Quite so far. Doesn't seem to be making any noise and looking for a signal. And there we go. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to have time to pull this apart. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't worry about that. These things, you only have to look at them when they start picking up dirt. So, well, if you enjoyed it, you know, give us a thumbs up, even two of them. Feel free to drop a comment, like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon. Oh yeah, you'll also find us on the usual social media platforms. Thank you.